Demonstrators in West New York rallied to demote the violence in Venezuela on Saturday. Anti-government protests have been plaguing the country since early February, when students first took to the streets against high crime, inflation, and the lack of basic necessities like bread and milk. Since then, at least 10 people have died and over 100 injured. I feel desperate and desperation for the situation in Venezuela and desperation that I had living on my own, my family. We have experience of, 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 the, of, of the problems, right? And I thought about the idea to, to do something. Therefore, after I saw what happened in somewhere else, and also answering a, a, a convocation from the SOS Venezuela directly from Venezuela to gather a gathering together today simultaneously around the world. So I called for some people that I know and gladly and very happily I got a great answer, a great response from the city, from, from the neighbors, from friends, from all nationalities. It does the reason why we are here. It does the uh, sharing, praying, and, and, and my heart is, now you got me, now you got me. A few town officials attended to show their support. Mayor Felix Roque said the atmosphere in Venezuela was similar to what he experienced growing up in Cuba. I'm going to say as the mayor, this hits home uh, in my heart because we actually went through the same ordeal being in Cuba and having to immigrate to this country when I was about 11 years old. So we experienced the, the suppression, the dictatorship, the uh, communism, the lack of democracy, the, the, the failure of the Castro regime to try to uh, enslave us in, in, uh, in, their, in, in the country of Cuba. So the same thing, the repression is happening in Venezuela, so I feel that I have to be here, I hope, and I share their movement. I encourage all the residents, the students in Venezuela to, and the residents of Venezuela, to stand up to the, uh, to the oppression, to uh, have a passive uh, demonstrations, and that the town of West New York and the mayors with them, always. The socialist government and the leaders of the opposition party are blaming each other for the violence. On that same day, deadly clashes erupted between the police and the protesters in the capital of Caracas. Supporters chanted and prayed for the future, many of them trying to keep close contact with their families. Morristown resident Vivian Janes said Venezuelans don't have access to much information since Maduro kicked out many international and national news agencies. going on around the world to support them. So somehow through Facebook, Twitter, however we can, we're letting them know that we're with them. And then we're fighting with for democracy with them. We don't want a dictatorship. We don't want Maduro in Venezuela. He has to leave because we want democracy. Uh, it's all, it's all. It's Venezuela, it's the blood, it's the, it's the brown, it's, the, it's Latin America because it's, a, it's a something that, that is, is spreading for all different countries. And uh, I feel and I believe we all feel that it needs to be eradicated. Instead of addressing Venezuelan demands, Maduro accused the U.S. of working with the opposition to overthrow his government. It's not clear what the coming days will bring, but many are hoping and even dying for a change. Sarah Trona, Hudson County TV, West New York.